Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday here. Uh, Powell today, Fed Chairman Powell. 3 p.m. Swiss time, 9 a.m. Uh, New York time. Be interesting to see uh, if he puts the finishing touches on this uh, negative rates conversation or he leaves the door open. Not really sure what he's going to do. Uh, he does tend to fold under political pressure uh, on the one hand, and on the other hand, he does seem to be a keen Fed historian, so maybe he stumps stumps up on the Fed independence thing, I don't know. Um, we're going to play it as we hear it at uh, 3 p.m. Let's take a look at things. Yesterday we got risk off at the end of the day yesterday. Uh, it was a big battle there for a while. Let's look at Aussie Yen. That was the biggest battle. Um, everyone is waiting to see what happens at this uh, 7018 point, which is exactly the two thirds fib of this 7660 and 5977. Um, it failed again. We can just rehash it. You can see we were. We were battling up here, printed 16, uh, back to 80, back to 96, and then finally uh, the Bears won. Same thing in equities. Uh, we were sniffing, sniffing at this 29.50 level. This is also the, the two-thirds point up here, 29.55, or it's somewhere around here. Anyway. Bears won, uh, accelerated through 90, printed all the way down to 25. Now we're at 58. Should uh, do some consolidation here, and we're going to wait for Powell. If he does say negative rates, stocks will go up, um, even though banking stocks will go down. Uh, if he doesn't say negative rates, I'm not sure there's, there's much to do here because most of us um, are of the mind that negative rates just don't really work in um, the American society and the American economy. But who knows? Uh, there's nothing off the table in times like these, so uh, we are going to play it as we hear it. Elsewhere, Kiwis uh, were talking about negative rates, um, and she got slapped, right? My lord, 60, 60, down to 60 cents, down a percent as we speak. Um, quite a few lows here, 59.95. This is a key point. Um, Got to keep an eye on this. If there's risk off and if negative rates in the U.S. are off the table, uh, this may slip further. Uh, the kiwi, the bird that cannot fly. What else is out there? Euro sterling flipped through some interesting highs. This sort of 88.15 level capped it for a while. Uh, more important, though, is this 88.63. Um, Sterling looks mildly sick. Uh, 40,000 deaths, biggest in Europe now. Um, UK GDP today, which I don't think really matters. I just think that uh, Sterling might get zinged. Uh, I just have this feeling it might. We don't have a we don't have a position yet, but we'll be watching this level very very closely. Uh, Eighty-eight sixty-three. This also coincides uh, with the cable chart. One twenty-two forty-five, which happened to be the bingo number today. So forty-five was the low um, on twenty-one April. Now we uh, gave it a little kiss this morning in Asia. This is a very key key moment. One twenty two forty five through that, and and then all of a sudden, you know, your next board is one twenty one sixty. But it really just kind of opens the door for a little trip back down below one twenty, um, which isn't you know, that's actually not a bad thing for the UK. Also, uh, I would argue that. Even though it's hysterically undervalued uh, historically, and it 
looks bad on paper, but sterling, a weaker sterling during these times is not a bad thing um, for the UK. So certainly there won't be any pushback from the BOE or the government about the price of sterling, uh, which is all that really means. Euro-yen uh, took a sniff up at that um, 117 resistance, didn't quite get there, back to 116.30. This could go either way. This is kind of risk on, risk off. Dollar-yen is going to be a mover today with Powell. Um, this is sort of the purest dollar play. Um, negative rates. Dollar-yen is going to get banged south. Um, and then if he comes in and says, we will never do negative rates or something like a super strong dollar yen will go higher. Let's have some coffee here. Let's take a look at uh, our old friend, uh, Norway. There is she. There she is. Down to 95 yesterday, um, which is another now uh, momentum style entry point. 10.95. We are sellers. Um, we're sitting here at 11. This is a sell-on rally, uh, core short type of deal. Uh, this obviously works better when oil's higher and it's risk on, but we made it through, and here we are. Dollar Norway, uh, which has always been sort of the sexier play in my mind, got down to 10.09. It did trade back up to 10.19. As you can see, there's much more volatility in dollar Norway, so you got to leave wider, take a smaller size, and leave wider position. But you can see on the dailies, um, this puppy w is not quite through, but today is the kind of day it could go through. God forbid um, he, he opens the door to negative rates. Dollar Norway will get trashed. 10:09. If you're um, if you're following here at home, is uh, yesterday's lows. Through that opens up. You can see the chart's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Long Norway uh, is our preferred preferred position. So anyway, we're we're looking at the sterling. Uh, we're watching this Kiwi level, and we're managing uh, Norwegian risk. Waiting for Powell. Don't expect a whole lot in uh, Europe. I guess we got UK GDP. We will be watching that, obviously. I believe it's 10:30, um, as per usual, 10:30 Swiss time. Quickly, we look at gold. Just because of the uh, Powell talk today, we're stuck here, right? Can't get more stuck than this. Almost feels like there's a huge expiry at at, uh, at 117. How many times are we going to draw this pennant? I don't know. Hasn't really worked on either side too well, um, but you can see. Vol is getting constricted. The longer this takes, the bit more power it will be breaking either side. Looks to me like the downside's at risk. Um, obviously, we, we're very bullish gold. We think gold's going to go way the hell higher. Um, but on a tactical trade, we'll just have to see. Uh, but keep your eye on gold today when uh, Jay Powell uh, is on the sound system. All right, people, that's it. You're supposed to like uh, thumbs up or or I don't know subscribe to this thing. Uh, these Irish guys keep hassling me about this, uh, so I'm supposed to say this. So whatever, do do what you're supposed to do. Especially you young millennial fucks, you know you know exactly what's going on here. Um, so uh, do that. Anyway, have a good day trading. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.